Founded in 2005, Given Hour is a national nonprofit that brings mental health services and support, delivered by caring professional volunteers to those experiencing emotional pain and suffering as a result of trauma or tragedy. We believe that within our communities, we have the resources to address many of the challenges that those who have experienced tragedy and trauma face every day. SoCal Route 91 Heals is a program offering long-term support to the survivors and family members of the Route 91 Harvest Festival shooting 2017 in Las Vegas. That day changed everything for those in attendance. Three years later, these are the experiences of some who remember that day. Obviously that night was the worst night of our lives. It, it was hell. It was just totally hell. Bullets were flying. We were both hit with a bullet. I like to say that we were kind of uh, squished in there like sardines. We just had nowhere to go. I, mean, I literally just went into autopilot and afterwards when I thought about it, I seriously felt like angels were pushing me because I did not feel my feet touch the ground. I remember the girl hyperventilating and me telling her, you can't, you're going to have to get up and run. Lord, if this is it, just please make it quick and swift. I still have complications um, from, from the, sh the shooting because I was shot twice. When you're in a life or death situation and you think you can't reach your family to say goodbye is devastating. I decided to go back in and help people out. It wasn't until I was standing in like the gravel right behind the airport where I actually took a bullet to the neck. It can be challenging to reach out for help in dealing with trauma. Some journeys toward healing can take much longer than others. And three years later, some have moved towards healing while others may need more encouragement and are still hesitant to confront their feelings about the event. Everyone's experience is unique and valid as the community learns about what works from each other. And I did have surgery six months after the shooting. And then after that was when I was kind of able to focus more on my emotional recovery. Well, I've had family members who have said, hey, it's been long enough, don't you think you should stop moping around about this? And that is just painful. I wish I could say that, that things have progressed um, and I've moved on, but it's I haven't. After Route 91 happened, it took me about a week for it to actually really even hit. It's not a simple task to just forget about it. You know, there's times where we where you have those those uh, nightmares. I needed to go for help right away. This was something that was much bigger than myself that I had experienced. The hardest part was having to ex acknowledge that I needed to see a therapist. I could not leave my house for six months. I would I was afraid of everything. For me to even remotely go get help or counseling was a huge step. And there's probably people who still haven't, and I encourage them to. Part of the reason that I've healed so well is because my husband and I did seek therapy. So as the um, crisis response counselor advised us, he said, you know, I really advise for you all to process this trauma professionally and, and try to get some healing. And it made the most sense to me. There is help available. Long-term healing is possible and that we just didn't forget. We didn't forget about them. I had always been afraid to go to therapy because of just like the stigma of therapy. And as soon as I went to therapy within my first, after my first session, I was just blown away by what I learned from it and how much it helped me. SoCal Route 91 Heals is a local, accessible, ongoing community open to everyone who needs it. With Given Hour's focus on long-term recovery, building community, and fostering emotional well-being, the journey toward healing and recovery for survivors and families is moving forward, offering hope for recovery from tragedy. Reach out. I've seen people over the years who close themselves in. I was one of those people initially. Peer support is very important in these types of incidents. There's a connection between the people of the community, um, a shared experience, um, and that, that connection enables people that share the experience to speak at a level, almost like at a heart level, sometimes even unspoken level. Now we're like one big, huge family, of course, so that's been 
I think really positive in the in the healing aspect for us. All it takes is that initial reaching out and I didn't want to reach out. I wasn't ready. I didn't want to talk about it. it. I was kind of embarrassed. Survivor's guilt. I realize it more than ever. I just want to do good, you know, and I, I try to share that any chance I get.